Hey everybody, it's Craig Vecta here, and if you've ever shot ProRes RAW and wanted to edit in DaVinci Resolve and you found yourself frustrated, well here's the solution in this video, so make sure you watch the whole thing. So it's called Play Pro Studio, and it allows you to convert Apple ProRes RAW into Cinema DNG in DaVinci Resolve. So you don't need to have Final Cut and then Export. This will allow you to import Apple ProRes RAW and export in different formats. For example, just regular ProRes or Cinnamon DNG. Anyway, let's dive right in. So the first thing you would do is obviously you'd shoot something in, say, Apple ProRes RAW. I use the Ninja V and the Sony A7S III. Then you would just click on Import Clips. You would find your clip, and then you would import it. So I've already gone ahead and I've done that. Now, when you're in here, you can also see all the metadata. If you look over here, you can see it was Sony S Gamut 3 Cine, Sony S-Log 3, and I shot this in Apple ProRes RAW HQ on the Atomus Ninja. So there's the camera. So all the metadata is there. Now you can also do color grading and a whole bunch of really cool things, but I just want to focus on this one feature in this video. So you've got two columns on the bottom. You've got construct where we've imported the clip. Now we also have a player. Now you can play this clip. You can do color grading in here, but like I said, I just want to focus on exporting this to Cinema DNG and using it in DaVinci Resolve as a raw file. Once you've picked your clip, because you can also trim your clips, all you'd have to do is click on render and then you'll see we have some different choices here for output we would choose ProRes RAW to Cinema DNG now you have a bunch of different formats you could have 16-bit uncompressed 12-bit uncompressed 12-bit lossless I'm gonna go with 12-bit lossy 3 to 1 because I don't want my files to be a lot bigger than the raw files also you can choose whether to have audio on or off with this clip and then you could just click here where it says use source name and say OK. To make this video go smoother, I've already rendered this clip. So let's go check it out in DaVinci Resolve. All right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve. And if we go to the color tab here, you could see on the left, I have access to these raw features in Camera Raw. So let me just show you my project settings. So if I go up to File and I go to Project Settings, and if I go to Camera Raw, you can see I chose Cinema DNG Full Res Project. And then here I chose camera metadata as shot. And then for color space, I chose Blackmagic Design and Blackmagic Design Film Highlight Recovery. And those are my settings. And then as far as my color management, if I look at the top, I went with DaVinci YRGB Color Managed Custom. And then I have my input color space, timeline color space, which is DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate. Then I have my output color space, which is what I'm going to output at to be Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. Now you can see it's already taken the color and just shot it into this image. So it's not a log image, although I shot this in RAW. Now if we go over here, you can see I've got as shot. So we can play with our white balance because it's a RAW file. You can see here I've got different ones that I could choose from. Tungsten, not good. I'm going to go with as shot. And then you can see here we can also play with the color temperature if we wanted to. I could double click. We're at 6,500. And again, I'm just going to go as shot. Now we can play with the tint on this, exposure, sharpness. We can bring the highlights down. We can bring them up. And let's just go to a better scene in here. All right, too, as you can see, we also have control of our shadows, color boost, saturation, midtone detail, lift, gain, contrast. So you can make all your adjustments here. And you can also refine it in the HDR tab if you want to. And you can see here we have full control of our exposure, for example. I can bring it right down. I can bring it right up. So we have exposure controls. We have total control right in DaVinci Resolve. And like I said, with the different compression ratios, you don't end up with massive files that you have to deal with either. And you can see how well the color is captured. I'm just going to play this clip so you can see it. And look at those colors. So I shot this in Apple ProRes and I showed you my settings. Look at those colors popping off that. I've never seen the Sony A7S III's colors look this good. And like I said, you have full control over the RAW file in DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions about this software, you can ask them in the comment section below. Also, I have a coupon code for you that will give you a huge discount. So check that out. That'll be in the description box. I'm not part of their affiliate program. I don't get any money for this. I just found a way to convert those files because I was frustrated probably like you. And I reached out to them and they gave me a discount code for my subscribers. So take advantage of that. It's in the description box. Check out this software. It's an easy way to convert Apple ProRes RAW into files that DaVinci Resolve 
can see and use, and it's a great piece of software. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can post them down below. Hit that thumbs up if you found these tips helpful. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. All right, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.